we can either learn to live together as brothers and sisters or perish together as fools. Martin Luther King Tectonic leadership is a vehicle for developing leaders from opposite sides of conflict to take joint ownership in transforming conflict, facing challenges together, finding solutions together. Tectonic leadership uses earth tectonics as a metaphor, recognizing that human interactions in situations of conflict are like fault lines between tectonic plates, building friction at their boundaries, exploding, causing earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, and mass hysteria. Tectonic leadership redirects the energy, realigns the boundaries, giving the rocks back their elasticity. Tectonic leadership provides the tools, the structure, the discipline, and commitment to engage the other, together accessing the full potential of our humanity. Tectonic leadership is based on three disciplines and commitments. Tectonic leaders collaborate with people from opposite sides of conflict, taking joint ownership in transforming conflict. Tectonic leaders commit to expand their boundaries, creating a shared congruent identity without changing their core beliefs. Tectonic leaders know that tension is seldom eradicated and do not avoid tension. Tectonic leaders use the tension surrounding conflict as an opportunity to deepen their understanding and engage the other. Tectonic leaders do not focus on advocating, defending and serving only one side. Tectonic leaders commit to a level of integrity that cares equally about self and other, facing challenges together, finding solutions together. Tectonic leaders lead consciously through the lens of evolution, not the lens of survival. While survival makes common sense, it holds on to the footprint of the past. The instinct to survive separates us from the other and ultimately destroys us. The evolutionary mindset goes beyond common sense. It connects us to the other, fueled by the willingness to walk a path where there are no footprints. Tectonic leadership was created by Brenda Naomi Rosenberg, American Jewish activist and global fashion executive, and Samia Mustafa Bassoon, American Arab activist of Muslim descent and telecom executive. Two women who refuse to be enemies, fearless in addressing issues others refuse to talk about. Samia and Brenda engaged in a journey of unlikely partners, becoming relentless in their search for a course of action that would make a difference. Their commitment to collaborate and co-create a shared vision, despite their polarized beliefs, became an obsession. Brenda and Samya, no longer enemies, are now the living symbol of tectonic leadership, leaders shattering barriers, experiencing seismic shifts, creating a tipping point for peace, leaders who have expanded their boundaries without changing their core beliefs, leaders with a shared congruent identity. Samya Mustafa Bassoum, an American Arab Muslim woman, pro-Palestinian tectonic leader, and Brenda Naomi Rosenberg, an American Jewish Zionist woman, tectonic leader. The Tectonic Leadership Center for Conflict Transformation and Cross-Cultural Communication develops and trains existing and potential leaders under a leadership platform governed by the three disciplines and commitments of tectonic leadership. The Tectonic Leadership Center will act as a clearinghouse setting new communication standards, a place where tension becomes an opportunity to better understand the other, a place where explosive events will be reported and analyzed by pairs from opposite sides of conflict, committed to transform conflict. The Tectonic Leadership Center, a venue for inspiring and creating solutions. The Tectonic Leadership Center targets key aspects of society, influencing locally and globally, personally and collectively. Universities and educational institutions, interfaith organizations, peace and dialogue groups, businesses, government, and media. We are at a critical moment in history. We can choose to self-destruct or create a new discourse and be in the presence of the best of our humanity. I am committed to tectonic leadership. I am a tectonic leader and I'm committed to true change because I'm committed in engaging the other. I am committed to tectonic leadership and its approach to conflict transformation and cross-cultural communication. I'm committed to tectonic leadership and 
to working with my peers to create a just world. I'm a tectonic leader and in the end, it doesn't matter what religion you are, it matters people are people, blood is blood. I am a tectonic leader. I am committed to my tectonic brothers and sisters. I am committed to implementing tectonic leadership into all aspects of my life. And I am a tectonic leader and I am committed to tectonic leadership and serving my community and holding interfaith events on my campus. I'm a tectonic leader and I'm committed to the ways of tectonics to engage others. I'm committed to making a difference using tectonic leadership and using tension um, as an opportunity to resolve conflict. I'm a tectonic leader and I'm committed to the future. Um, coming into this week, I was hesitant and uh, a little ashamed to call myself uh, a Zionist as, as a Jew. Um, but afterwards, uh, I've built some connections and developed my own identity and my personality and uh, I feel strong and feel more than comfortable calling myself uh, a pro-Palestinian Zionist. And uh, I don't think that those two are contradictory and uh, this has been a fantastic week. During the retreat, um, the Tectonic Leadership Program, I learned to collaborate with differing opinions, um, which are sometimes conflicting opinions, without changing my own like, core beliefs. Um, and doing so by focusing on the issues surrounding the conflict instead of demonizing uh, or blaming the other person. I think the key here is really being committed um, to equally care about myself and my views as well as the other. Um, understanding the roots of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia uh, and work towards finding solutions. Um, having gone through this program and the late night never ending conversations we had during the retreat, I feel comfortable saying that I'm a pro-Israeli and a pro-Palestinian Muslim.